because of a, a couple reasons. Um, she looked good as fuck. And number two is because the story of the video, it's very like, like, bad ass fucking bitch. <laughs> channel today we're going to be recapping the butterfly era which was an amazing era to say the least um i love the direction she went it was love song low-key like independent bad bitch but like at the same time like i need you like kind of like vibe i was getting from the entire era not just the album just the era the videos everything um album the album review well i'm doing the album review right as we speak um overall i think it was great i think it was um uh, i don't know how to say it like it's it's r&b but like it's like that 90s r&b like it's classic it sounds like just like like off the first listen I was on, I was hooked. I, I love that. I, I love this album off the first listen. And I feel like she does that a lot, but with this album in particular, there was just something different. There was something there that I just absolutely love. Um, I'm gonna give this album a rating of nine. I'll give it nine because a 10 album for me would be, um, music box or yeah music box um that's a 10 for me this is a nine just because i there's like two songs i did not like on the album but it's fine like all albums have that one or two songs that you just you just can't get into so i'll give it a nine overall and now we're going to be talking about my favorite top three songs from this album they were differing, like, uh, it was going up and down, like, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I like these ones, or I like these ones, uh, and I was like, okay, we need to come to a decision, and I finally did, it was hard, but, like, I feel like I said this a couple times in, throughout this era, um, we'll start from number three, number three is 4th of July, and I'm adding this song because on the 4th of July this year, I was vibing to this song, and I was just like, wow, like, what a great song. It's such a perfect summary. And that's another thing, like the summary vibes that I got from this entire album is uh, like, that's it's the reason why I kept listening to it. It's the reason why I low key like fell in love with it. Number two is The Roof. This is another summer vibes. Like imagine just listening to this song while you're sitting under the stars with your boo, like, and y'all kissing, smoking, just vibing. That's what I got from that. And it's just so 90s, you know? And who doesn't love that 90s vibe? I know I do, I love it. Um, but my number one favorite song from this album is My All, only because of the vocals and just how she uses them. And I feel like me personally, I love um, songs that use the talent like she's using her talent right there and just showing the girls how it's done okay and the video was fucking astounding to say the least speaking of video my favorite video from this era is the honey video because of a, a couple reasons um she looked good as fuck and number two is because the story of the video it's very like like bad ass fucking bitch like spy movie hot shot like beat the bitch up kind of like like vibes i was getting from and she just looks so good doing that um also because honey is a really good song okay <laughs> but i guess that's it you guys like that was a quick um era i mean the era really wasn't that long of an era I, I don't know I feel like this video was kind of quick <laughs> but 
But I guess it makes you... Well, it's probably because I have wrote, written down, everything written down. Usually if I did this without it written down, my words would just be all over the place. But I guess it's it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Bye. I'm gonna look at